So I just finished watching The Devil in the Dark. Holy crap. This episode was so boring. Seriously. Um, I feel really let down by this episode. This could have been really awesome. It had a great setup. had a really awesome premise. Uh, really cool moral message. It was just so slow. It could have been half the time. This whole thing could have been done in a half hour. Not an hour show. Or build it up to be an hour long. There were just so many moments where it crawled. And I don't mind slow movies. I don't mind uh, tension building. Because this was supposed to be a little bit more of like a horror based episode. And I do like movies that, that kind of have that ambiance and that atmosphere building up. Uh, you know, it could be more of a suspense thing. Kind of like uh, Shyamalan's Unbreakable. Which is a really slow film. But it keeps me intrigued the whole time. Um, there's a lot of examples of stuff out there that can be slow, but it builds atmosphere. This was not one of them. It felt like it was just filler for lack of, uh, story writing, maybe? I, I really don't know. Anyway, um, like I said, cool premise. The Enterprise goes down to this mining colony because all these men have been getting killed there. Uh, they're just getting, like, burnt up by something. And they get there, and they find out that there's another life form on this planet. And it's a silicone-based life form, not carbon-based. Really cool concept. Awesome. I love it. That's some great sci-fi there. Um, sorry, my voice is kind of going out. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, so they're doing that, and they find out that this thing, as I say, it can move through rock the same way we move through air. Great concept. I, I love it. Um, when you finally get to see the monster, yeah, it's really cheesy looking. But like I've said before, I, I forgive the special effects for the most part. Problem is, there's like a, a four minute scene of Spock communicating with this thing through the Vulcan uh, mind meld technique or whatever. Um, again, Trekkies, please correct me on my terminology. <sighs> Sorry, it was just boring. Um, it could have been done in five seconds. There was just a lot of needless dialogue, a lot of extras in there that didn't help the story move along. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, I felt really let down by this episode. It had great potential. Again, this is a story that I would love to see revisited in another format and done better. Um, I saw elements of this in other things. I can see there was an episode of The X-Files that um, had a very similar feel to this one. And, you know, the moving through rock. Uh, it's always a kind of a great creature. You always tend to think of the Graboids from the Tremors series or the, uh, the Sandworms from Dune. You know, those are always cool creatures. And this was, this was a little bit different. It wasn't like a worm type thing. It was more of like a, a big blobby rock sort of looking thing. Um, anyway, this thing, that like, like the story-wise, what was cool about it was that this thing was actually not attacking people because it was malicious. It was attacking them because these people had been killing its eggs and it was like the last of its kind. And I guess every 5,000 years they all die off except for one and it needs to rebreed. Something like that. Anyway, uh, it had been killing... Uh, the, the the miners, the men, had been killing all of the eggs, and the mother retaliated. Cool story, cool moral. Um, we you know we're attacking a, a creature here that we don't understand, and it's only trying to defend itself, and that's why it was killing people. Cool, I love that that message, but it was not delivered well. So. Um, yeah, I would not really recommend this episode. I was not intrigued. I actually had to pause it, I think, like three or four times and go walk around because I fell asleep or felt myself falling asleep. It really was that dull. So I'm not going to continue going on. It's been five minutes, and I will see you guys later.